What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a quick wig install of this gorgeous vibe that I got going on right here. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below what you think. Also, follow me on my Instagram. My handles will be down on the screen somewhere over here. And my wig install is going to be featuring this bomb freaking lace glue. I mean, lace spray glue, whatever mechanism thing here that I've seen on TikTok, y'all. I am super, super, get duper in love with this lace spray. Like, for real, for real. I honestly need to find the black one because they said the black one is even stronger and better than this but everywhere i go i don't see it i'm gonna try amazon if i can find it on amazon i'm gonna link it down in the description box below also i'm gonna let y'all know that when i first use this spray i my wig lasts for five days but i do not sweat that's one thing and if you do sweat or if you do like work out with your wigs you can tie it down and then go work out baby and it's going to further melt the lace okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this quick Easy wig install video. <laughs> yeah, I'm the hood Mona Lisa, break the nigga in the pieces, had to egg some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza. Yeah. I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta, but chicks all the little ass clothes on these big fake booties. Bad bitch, still talking cash shit, puffy like water, I'm a brother and relaxing. I would never trip on a nigga if I had him. Bitch, that's my trash, shoot a bag so you back to so what you want to do is cut small holes and try to fit your ear through it. If it's too small, cut just a little bit more. And I say that because it needs to be tight and snug around your ear just like that. It should be dry to the touch. No sticky, no nothing. Dry, okay? You know I'm gonna ignore it. I'm the shit. Ooh. I need a mop to clean up. Oh, it's too much drip. Oh, it's girl. I keep it not. I keep a box. I keep a bill. I got it. Let's play a game. Some and sell to that bitch. Ay, I'm still that bitch. Yeah, I'm a savage. Yeah, classy. Don't pull your cap all the way back to your hairline. Leave some cap on your head because when you're gluing your wig or spraying your wig down, you don't want that on your hairline. You want it on the cap and on your skin. The easiest way to cut your cap off is to lay your scissors flush on your skin Put one of the scissor leg behind the cap just like this tightly and then cut. Don't pull the cap to where your skin is lifted because then you'll cut your skin. But you want to cut that cap super flush to your skin. Now, if you feel like you've left too much cap on, just pull it back a little bit with some tweezers. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes just to show y'all. And then do the same thing, just cut it off. I'm putting a very thin layer of glue just to seal my cap. This is not to glue down my wig. This is just so that when I start to spray my wig on, my cap doesn't move. This is how you're supposed to look. It's giving Caillou. If you're not looking like Caillou, you did it wrong. Take your cap off, start again. Because immediately now. Immediately now. Head like
like this and installing it is a no, okay? Because it's giving very much Rick James to the side part. And that's not what we're going for. So I like to tint my lace with a powder foundation instead of a cream or liquid because those have oils and we don't want to introduce oils to our install because then that's gonna make it not last as long as it's supposed to. Please be better than me. Do not use your fingers to spread your spray because your fingers have oils and that's just going to cut the life of your install down, okay? Be smart, use a comb. might be obvious to some people but not to all so I am not touching my head with the hot comb I am putting it very very close and then I am scooping it you see that scoop that's what I'm doing
look away, can keep us holding me. Choose your eyes, what would